Hey, what's up guys? My name is Faison and in this video, I'll be going over how you can improve your Science Olympiad ping pong parachute, specifically going over how you can reduce the weight of your rocket. So before we get, <clears throat> but before we get into the video, please be sure to leave a like if you enjoy it. Drop any questions, feedback, or video ideas in the comments down below. And please consider subscribing to the channel because I post new videos just like this every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And with that said, let's get right into the video. And the first area that you should consider reducing weight for your rocket is the actual rocket fuselage. And what I mean is the protrusion from the actual pressure vessel or soda bottle upwards. So for many people that may be a cardboard tube or even one of those light coverings for ceiling lights and sometimes it could be a balsa wood tube. Now for many people they just buy the tube straight out of the store and they attach that right onto the rocket. And while that may work for your rocket and it may get you some decent results, it's better to find some way to cut down the amount of weight that you're placing on your rocket. And this is, this is simply because when, you, when you're competing in a ping pong parachute, you only have 65 PSI to work with. And while that may have gotten you a, a super insane height for regular bottle rockets, it won't get you too far in ping pong parachute depending on how heavy your rocket is simply because you're working just off the PSI and no water inside that soda bottle. So finding some way to reduce the weight of your fuselage, men, there are many ways to do that, but the best way to go about it with, while still being able to retain that really long fuselage to, to support a really big parachute or just to get a greater center of gravity, with less weight is to use a balsa tube. Now, if you want me to go more in depth on how you can make your own balsa tube at home, then make sure you leave a comment in the, in the comments below letting me know. The next way that you can go about reducing the weight of your ping pong parachute rocket is by reducing or changing the material of your fins. And the reason I'm emphasizing this so much is because fins play a significantly less importance in ping pong parachute compared to these regular bottle rockets. And the reason is, is because you're not being, your score is not being measured by the length that of time your rocket is in the air, but rather the length of time that your ping pong parachute part aspect of it. So the ping pong ball attached to the parachute. That's the only part that's being scored. So if you want to maximize the weight, you're or not max, maximize your score, not your weight, you want to maximize your score, you're going to want to get your parachute to get up as high as possible. And as we discussed previously, the best way to do that is to reduce your weight. And the and again, the reason why these fins are less important is because you don't need to have your rocket stay up in the air, which is the main reason that many people are using really big fins and really wide fins. But Regardless, you do need to have some sort of fins to keep your rocket going straight up. And the best way to achieve that goal while also making your rocket as light as possible is to use light material. And the best material I found for ping pong parachute rocket fins are styrene sheets. And I believe the best sheets I used were around 0 0.01 inches in thickness. And that may vary on how your rocket is, but using that and using a much thinner cut or thinner area, surface area for your rocket fins will help you in the long run for the weight of your rocket. And another way that you can reduce the weight of your rocket is to simply remove the label on your pressure vessel. And this happens to a lot of people. They keep the they keep the soda bottle label or carbonated beverage label on their pressure vessel and then that just screws everything up. For one, it causes you to not be able to align your fins properly and by doing so, you end up putting more tape on your pressure vessel than you previously intended. 
And just by removing the pressure vessel, you get to align your fins more clearly. You get to make sure they're all a specific degree apart. One's not too close to the other. It just makes everything a lot easier. And you're doing yourself a huge favor, regardless of if you're trying to reduce your rocket weight or not. Yes, you're reducing the rocket weight because you're effectively reducing the amount of tape needed to place your fins onto your pressure vessel and removing a physical object away from your rocket itself. So all, although you're reducing some weight, albeit a very little bit of weight, you are in turn helping yourself in the long run by allowing you to get that perfect precision for making your rocket exactly to your specifications. Now, I know this may seem a little bit intimidating right now, me sitting here and telling you all this information, but I will leave a link in the description below that will take you to my website where I put all this information and more on my website. So make sure you check that link out after watching this video, just to make sure you got everything I discussed in this video. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button, drop any questions or feedback or video ideas in the comments down below, follow me on social media, my Instagram page will be right here, or you can find my links to all other platforms in the description as well. And finally, please consider subscribing to the channel. I post new videos just like this every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And with that said, I'll catch you guys next time. Stay faced. Thank you.